Hello, I welcome you all to TMF. I am Dr. Rajat Swami. Today, I will deliver first lecture on antibiotic series. Antibiotics are substances which are produced by microorganism which suppress the growth or kill other microorganisms. In this lecture, we will classify antibiotic according to their mechanism of action. Different class of antibiotic act by different mechanism. Antibiotic which block synthesis of cell wall, also known as cell wall inhibitor, constitute beta lactam group of antibiotic, which include penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenem, vancomycin, desitracin, cycloserin, and phosphomycin. All antibiotics prevent synthesis of new cell wall and make bacteria vulnerable to osmotic burst. Phenolones group of antibiotics interfere with DNA replication, thereby promote bacterial killing. Then there are antibiotics which interfere with synthesis of protein by various mechanisms. This antibiotic constitute aminoglycoside, macrolides, tetracycline, and chloramphenicol. Antimetabolites is special group of antibiotic which interfere with metabolism of microorganism. This group of antibiotic include sulfonamides, pyrimethamine, and trimethoprim. Bacterial cell membrane is damaged by polypeptide group of antibiotic which include polystine, polyb, and daptomycin. These are the major group of antibiotic. We will start our discussion with penicillin. Penicillin is beta-lactam antibiotic. All beta-lactam antibiotic contain beta-lactam ring in their structure. Penicillin is oldest and largest group of antibiotic. First penicillin was discovered in 1930. And this group of antibiotics act by inhibiting synthesis of bacterial cell wall. Other antibiotics which act by similar mechanism include bacitracin, cycloserin, vancomycin, phosphomycin, and other beta lactam antibiotics which include cephalosporin, carbapenem, and estrionem. How this antibiotic produce inhibition of cell wall synthesis of microorganism? To know this, first we have to see structure of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Why bacteria are gram-positive or gram-negative? This is because difference in cell wall of both this group of bacteria. Whether it is gram-positive or negative, both bacteria are surrounded by cell membrane which is lipid bilayer and do not contain sterol. Sterol is necessary to provide tensile strength to cell, which provide protection against osmosis. Since bacteria do not contain cell wall, they are prone to osmotic burst. What is it? Cytoplasm of bacteria is hyperosmotic compared to surrounding or human tissue fluid. When bacteria without cell wall are placed in human fluid, which is hypoosmotic. It leads to increased entry of water inside bacteria. Eventually, bacteria swell up and burst. So, protection against this osmotic burst is provided by cell wall. All bacteria contain cell wall except mycoplasma. So, how mycoplasma protect themselves against osmotic burst? Cell membrane of mycoplasma contain sterol. Human cells also contain sterol in form of cholesterol and fungal cells contain ergosterol. In gram-positive bacteria, cell membrane is surrounded by thick peptidoglycan layer. This peptidoglycan layer is porous. Apart from peptidoglycan, gram-positive bacteria also contain ticoic acid. This ticoic acid helps in adherence 
thus important for virulence of gram positive organism apart from it ticoic acid is also antigenic and immunogenic so it stimulates macrophage to form inflammatory cytokine il1 and tnf alpha in contrast to gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria contain very thin peptidoglycan layer between inner membrane and outer membrane in the periplasmic space gram negative bacteria contain additional layer which is rich in phospholipid and proteins this protein form channel which are important for permeability this protein channel are called porin you can appreciate in this diagram in case of gram positive bacteria there is outside thick peptidoglycan layer and polymer of ticoic acid while in case of gram negative bacteria there is thin layer of peptidoglycan in periplasmic space and outside there is additional layer of lipopolysaccharide which contain porin channel outer membrane of gram negative bacteria contain very important molecule known as lipid a which is composed of disaccharide and this disaccharide molecule is attached to phosphate bond this molecule is known as disaccharide diphosphate this disaccharide diphosphate attached to four molecule of fatty acid which is myristic acid and this whole molecule is known as lipid a lipid a is universal in all gram negative bacteria it is not present in gram positive bacteria in all gram negative bacteria lipid a is identical so whether it is e coli pseudomonas neisseria acinetobacter lipid a of all these bacteria will be identical this lipid a is not immunogenic so no antibody is formed against this lipid a but it is very pathogenic which produce severe disease and endotoxic shock when polysaccharide molecule attached to lipid a this structure now known as lipopolysaccharide lipopolysaccharide is feature of gram negative organism gram positive organism do not contain lipopolysaccharide except listeria monocytogen this polysaccharide component is immunogenic so antibodies are formed against this polysaccharide component and this polysaccharide is different among different bacteria and different strain of same bacteria it is also known as somatic o antigen it is responsible for different strain of salmonella typhi and various other bacteria when we take any sample and add crystal violet to it all sample will stain blue then we add iodine which make complex with crystal violet followed by addition of 5% alcohol alcohol dissolve outer membrane of gram negative bacteria since peptidoglycan layer in gram negative bacteria is very thin crystal violet stains wash out but in case of gram positive bacteria due to thick peptidoglycan layer it retained blue color and we term them as gram positive bacteria when we add safranin to this gram negative bacteria attain red color but there are some bacteria which cannot be stained by gram staining technique which occur if bacteria are very thin in case of spirochete for example tryponema pallidum because when we examine slide we use bright field microscopy and this spirochete are so thin that light pass through them so to demonstrate this organism we require dark field microscopy or we need to stain them with fluorescent antibody organism which are intracellular cannot be stained by gram staining because gram staining dye do not enter into cell so intracellular organism like rickettsia cannot be stained by gram staining third example is mycobacterium tuberculosis this organism contain special vaccine layer outside their cell membrane which do not allow entry of gram staining dye but allow entry of carbol fuchsin when we treat this combination with alcohol this vaccine layer is so thick that stain do not wash away and this bacteria are termed as acid fast bacilli 
फोर्थ एग्जाम्पल इज लेजियोनेला लेजियोनेला आर वेरी स्लो स्टेनर बट वेन वी इंक्रीज टाइम ऑफ स्टेनिंग दे टेक अप सेफरिन इन डाई लेट्स कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन विद फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बैक्टीरियल सेल वॉल पेप्टिडोग्लाइकिन इज इंटीग्रल कंपोनेंट ऑफ बैक्टीरियल सेल वॉल पेप्टिडोग्लाइकिन इज कंपोज ऑफ पेप्टाइड एंड ग्लाइकन्स Glycans is repeated unit of sugar, which is consist of N acetyl glucosamine and N acetyl muramic acid. This NAG and NAM constitute glycans unit. Peptide is attached to N acetyl muramic acid, and this peptide bond cross link with other NAM. resulting in formation of peptidoglycan molecule synthesis of cell wall occur in bacterial cytoplasm first step in formation of cell wall synthesis is attachment of udp molecule to nag whenever polymerization occur in biochemical reaction we need to charge the molecule and this charging of n acetyl glucosamine is done by udp udp is attached to nag resulting in formation of udp acetyl glucosamine this udp acetyl glucosamine is converted to udp acetyl muramic acid in presence of enzyme enol pyruvate transferase and this enzyme is inhibited by antibiotic phosphomycin phosphomycin is drug of choice for urinary tract infection most common side effect of phosphomycin is diarrhea UDP M then acquire peptide molecule in form of pentapeptide terminal amino acid of this pentapeptide is D alanine while human cell contain L alanine attachment of pentapeptide unit to UDP M is accomplished in presence of enzyme alanine racemase and alanine alanine ligase both this enzyme are inhibited by antibiotic cycloserin cycloserin is second line drug for tuberculosis this drug produce neuropsychiatric and neurotoxic symptom such as tremor and seizure now this udp g and peptide contain udp m are taken up by cell membrane carrier protein bactoprenol this bactoprenol remove udp from acetyl glucosamine and peptide containing muramic acid and combine nag with nam and transport this whole unit from cytoplasm to outside of cell this bactoprenol protein is inhibited by antibiotic bacitracin bacitracin is indicated for topical use only due to its nephrotoxicity elongation of this unit occur with help of enzyme transglycosylase and this transglycosylase enzyme is inhibited by antibiotic vancomycin vancomycin is used for MRSA infection after elongation strength to peptidoglycan is provided by cross linking and this cross linking is done with help of enzyme transpeptidase this transpeptidase enzyme is inhibited by beta lactam group of antibiotic beta lactam bind to this transpeptidase and this transpeptidase act as penicillin binding protein for beta lactam antibiotic this newly formed cell wall unit is attached to pre existing cell wall of bacteria and this binding of new unit to old unit is also prevented by vancomycin so vancomycin act by inhibition of elongation of new wall unit and prevent attachment of new cell wall unit to old cell wall unit beta lactam antibiotic do not destroy already formed cell wall 
in fact they prevent synthesis of new cell wall and new cell wall mainly form in newly formed bacteria so beta lactam group of antibiotic act best against rapidly dividing bacteria but when we give bacteriostatic drug and do not allow bacteria to divide efficacy of beta lactam antibiotic decreased remember cell division of bacteria during cell division bacterial cell wall is dissolved and bacteria is divided into two daughter cell that do not have cell wall but osmotic burst do not happen because cytoplasm of newly divided bacterial cell is isosmotic with time as bacterial cell form cell wall their cytoplasm also become hyperosmotic with time and formation of cell wall occur simultaneously lysozyme which is present in human saliva can destroy already formed cell wall bacteria undergo constant remodeling with help of enzyme autolysine bacteria break down old cell wall and attach new cell wall but this process occur very slowly so when we prevent synthesis of new cell wall by giving beta lactam antibiotic this autolysine destroy old cell wall of bacteria but again this process happen very slowly that's all for today's lecture in next lecture we will discuss about penicillin